Live, little Thursday night. What's going on, folks? Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you are doing well. Here we go on a Thursday night. Football all over the place on your TVs right now. Apologize for being a minute or two late. Had to make our graphic for this. I somehow slipped my mind. I don't know, a million things going on. Slipped my mind a little bit. Here we go. We're live, though. Here we go. Kick off in just a few minutes. Kick off in just a few minutes. Yo, Ricky Land, Travi, Solo Bowen, Donnie, Great Bisbee, what's up? What's up? Donnie, I'm getting back to you, by the way. I meant to DM you back. My apologies, my guy. I've been crazy busy. Um, My apologies on that, though. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I know there's a lot of ball on tonight. A lot going on. A lot we can talk about. And, uh, you know, like I said, I know there's a lot of ball on, but you know what? We've got this bowl game, and damn it, I, uh, you know, wanted to get this in. We're fit. I-, I tell you guys, you know what's special about this? This is actually, this is basically, I mean, I-, I guess you could say tomorrow, but to me, this feels like the true last piece of preseason content, right? This is like preseason content. This is like truly the last piece of preseason content. So cheers to that, right? Cheers to the preseason coming to an end and the actual season coming into play. So yeah, ECU is getting worked by the way. Um, You feel like we should be able to run all over them. Uh, You know, I don't know if I don't know if, uh, you know, I, I, I'm expecting a close game next week. I, we'll, we'll talk about the game. We'll, we'll break that game down, obviously, next week. But, you know, we knew that offensive line was weak coming in. We knew that offensive line was weak. Gave up 200 yards rushing per game last year. You really feel like you you should be able to run the ball against East Carolina. You really feel like you should be able to run the ball against TCU. But, hey, AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Tanner Land, I'll shoot you a DM right now, my guy. My, my apologies, Tanner. Like I said, just been crazy, 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 crazy busy. Anybody got a uniform suggestion? Bowl game uniform suggestion. How about it? Uh, great Bisbee. How was the call-in show? It was great. It was great. Um, got to shake Coach Beamer's hand. Um, overall, it was great. I- I'll say that. from For just overall, it was great uh, hearing Coach Beamer and obviously the excitement for kickoff. It was packed. Um, everybody really excited. And uh, Frank Beamer in the building. That was incredible. Got to meet Tommy Suggs. That was really cool. Uh, on a on a personal note, I uh, got to shake Shane Beamer's hand yet again, and he expressed his appreciation, and you know just showed love yet again, man. It was cool. It's just it's very cool, very cool. So very cool, and appreciate Coach Beamer, and I'm just so excited for this era, and excited for Saturday, and and uh, 
Yeah, just beyond words, you know. So it was, it was a very cool night, very cool night. And, you know, Saturday is going to be very, very special. I've, I've said it before. I've said it again. I, I said it on the podcast. It'll drop tomorrow. Saturday is going to be a really, really special day, really special night. And, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Nobody can predict the future. But, uh, you know, we're the road team. We're the road team. We are the road team. We're not wearing a home jersey. We are the road team. Let's see. What is Marshall wearing? Their home uni. White, green, white. We could go Stormtrooper. We could go white, white, garnet. We could switch it up if we really want. Garnet, white, garnet's not a terrible look. I feel like we, what what did we wear that at? Georgia, maybe? Um... Black, white, black would be fresh. How about black, white, black? David Barnes says, I think we'll win if we wear garnet, white, black. Garnet, white, black would be fire. Little old school garnet, white, black. Black, white, garnet, he says. How would that look? Black, white. Mm, I can't. Eh, we wore that at Kentucky last year. I can't do that. I, I just, I can't do that. We haven't done garnet white white. So Bowen is the voice and gameplay to like. Yes, yes. So my voice is ahead of the stream right now, at least. Like I, I have my TV on, but so what will happen in game solo is I, I cut off my TV and it aligns. I think garnet white white's kind of fire. Or should we just go all white? Maybe we should just go. Maybe we should go stormtrooper. Maybe, maybe we should just go traditional. I think I think we should go all white. I, I'm going all white. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take all the decision. I'm gonna make Marshall wear like an alternate. They don't have an alternate. Holy shit! Never mind. <laughs> okay. All righty. Fair enough. Let's see, we're good. Just yep. When, when in doubt, just go stormtrooper. All right, here we go. I'm not even paying attention to the end of my fr- my fantasy draft. Not even paying attention to the. I already drafted my whole team basically, anyway. So. Oh well, it's all good. Dakota, I am thinking about the uniforms too. It's, but see, it's a, in, I'm different about it in video games. See, I like to get y'all's feedback. That's, it. I mean, I don't want y'all to think I'm just selfishly, I'm just picking the unis and I don't want your feedback. I, I try to give y'all, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's my mistake. Maybe I should just pick the unis and just take all the guesswork out of it. Is that what I should do? I don't know. Apparently in the video game, by the way, Sit Dog, this is a New Year's Eve bowl game, the Liberty Bowl. So, I don't know. How about that black end zone, by the way? How about that black end zone? That's, that's pretty fire. That's actually not bad. Again, that's how I feel in the video game. I don't want to see a black end zone in real life at Willie B. But it does look cool in the video game. The all-white dude is just so crispy. The, the all-white so crispy. Robbie Davis texting in. How was your night? Robbie, appreciate you tuning in, Robbie. My night was great. Went to Carolina Calls with Shane Beamer and uh, looking forward to a great night tomorrow night at, at Hall's Chop House. We're going to have a live show with Cox by 90 and um, going to be a good time. So, 10-7, to 7, Ohio State in the lead. Is there a late? There's a late game tonight, right? Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. Let's go, boys. Let's get a bowl dub, huh? We ought to beat Marshall. Let's get a freaking bowl dub. Let's get a freaking bowl dub. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Five, five. Yes, 
Hold on, UCF got pushed back to 10 o'clock, really? Dakota, yes, this is the last simulation. This is the last game. This is the last game. Yep, this is our bowl game. No way. Somebody said ECU just threw a Hail Mary at halftime. Is that correct? I got to cut. I think I need to cut this ECU game like on my phone or something. I'd, I mean, I, I, you know what? Actually, I'm committed to the damn simulation. To hell with that. I'm watching the simulation, damn it. But my buddy just texted me, ECU just threw a Hail Mary at half, LOL. So y'all tell me what. Y'all keep me updated on what the hell's going on. Come on, D. Screen. 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 Nope. Nope. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Travi, what's the score in the Tennessee game? What is the score in that Tennessee game? Fourteen to three. Hmm. Yeah, Dakota. I heard said our coastal's whooping that ass. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Wow! Hail Mary overturned. Oh, hit him! Hit him! No! 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 no. Wow. Welp. That's an auspicious start. That is an auspicious start. Wow. Wow. Mm. Well, shit. Well, shit. This isn't good. <laughs> Damn. He's tackled around the 25 yard line. Josh, what's up, man? Appreciate you tuning in. What's up? Got J2469, Travi, Brendan, Solo Bowen. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Sit Dog Nine says quarterback from Tennessee is going to give us a lot of trouble. Sit Dog, it's way too, it's way too early to worry about Tennessee, my guy. We, we got we got a lot of games to go for Tennessee. A lot of games. A lot of games. Pick it. God. Oh, he dropped it. Wow. <laughs> Thank God. He dropped it. Marshall is looking to go up by three. He gets it up. Miss it. And the field goal is good. Brandon Parnell going to be camping at Darlington this weekend for the race. Going to have my phone on the Carolina game Saturday night and have the TV on Georgia Clemson. Dude, love it. Love it. Hey, hey, I, dude. Almost forgot the race is Sunday, man. Darlington. Going to be a hell of a time, right? I've actually been to. Go. Beamer ball. Take off. Beamer ball. Beamer ball! Let's go! Beamer ball! Finally! Finally, Beamer ball comes through the first time all season long. Beamer ball! Let's go! I got so excited, I tangled my shit up. Let's freaking go! Amari, dude, Amari and Brown. Holy smoke. I tangled my shit all to hell. Beamer ball! There we go. All right, I was going to wait for the first touchdown to do this. I was going to wait for the first touchdown to do this. I figured, guys, since it's, since it's the last piece of preseason content, right? And that's how I mean. That's how I feel. Is I look at it this way: last piece of preseason content. We got something special. We've been drinking the beers during these. Nothing crazy though. It's a Thursday night. College football's on. Why not? We're pulling out the Elijah, the Elijah Craig. 
Cheers to the end of the preseason, folks. Cheers to that touchdown. And cheers to the end of the preseason. Pretty good stand there. How about it? What a freaking return. Cheers. How about it? Ah, yes, yes. Beamer ball coming through. Change the momentum, son. Change the momentum. Boop. Don't know about that old that Elijah, the Elijah Craig. <sighs> Woo -wee! Put some hair on your chest, boo. Gotta put some hair on your chest. Come on, D, you gotta have it. Gotta have it. No. Oh my god, we got lucky. We got so lucky. We got so lucky. Oh, we got lucky. Wilson. Is waiting for the snap. Do it again. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open because right now. Ohio State struggling in Minnesota. OVR says, if you try to Eagle Rare, I have not. I, dude, I'll be honest. I, I don't drink. Ne I don't really drink a lot of bourbon anymore at all. This bottle was given to me as a gift. Go, take off. This bottle was given to me as a gift. So that's the only reason I really have it. Josh Williams, where's the Stogie? Yeah, I don't have a Stogie, honestly, man. Tonight, I don't have a Stogie. Didn't stop by and get one. We've been busy, man. I didn't, I didn't stop by the store. Brett Butler, leave the Craig at the house Saturday. LOL. Yeah, no, nah, it's uh, no, nah, it's it's definitely staying at the house. No, nah, bro, drinking whiskey on game day. Oof. I mean, you you must be trying to not remember the game. You must be trying to not remember it. My 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 guy Rob Youngson got all the games going on and the simulation. I love that. Appreciate you, Rob. Get up, fuel. There you go. That's a good play. John Kruger, thoughts on ECU app. Um, John, I haven't gotten to watch a ton of it. I was at the Shamey McCollin show and then came home, and now we're doing this. I've seen a little bit, and I've seen the stats, and App State has damn near 300 yards of offense at halftime. We should be able to run the ball on them. That's that's at minimum. I would say that. So, Eagle Rare is amazing, what somebody said. David Barnes says, Elysian contact haze is good. Sit Dog 9 says, Tennessee looks better than what I expected is a better statement. <clears throat> Get up, field. Punch it in here. Second down and seven coming up here. How about the freaking kickoff return, dude? How about the kickoff return? Go, take off, go! Use your legs, Luke Doty. How about Shane Beamer tonight saying that Luke Doty he expects to be fully 100% next week? Josh Williams, Chris, how does how do, does how ECU is playing change your opinion? ECU is the biggest game of the year. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And here's the thing again. I have never, Josh, insinuated it's not a game South Carolina should win. I, I mean, I, I hope I didn't. I, I've never insinuated. Like, we should expect... I listed it as a win in my wins, toss-ups, and losses. South Carolina, South Carolina should expect to win the game. We should win the game. They're, they're, we should win the football game. But again, the way that many jaded Gamecock fans have acted to me about the EIU game, I mean, guys, how often have you as Gamecock fans seen South Carolina go into a game they should win and did not? All I'm saying is, ECU, maybe it's not a must win, but it's a can't lose. You just, if you're going to hit six wins, if you're going to get to a bowl game, you cannot lose. You cannot lose to ECU. You can't. You can't mess around. And what the hell was Luke Doty just doing there? So, you know, the, uh, Dustin, no, unfortunately I will not have merch 
at the game for sale. Just getting inventory, Dustin, has been just a, just been really tough. I mean, I, I'd love to get to the point where I've had merch for sale at the, at the tailgate, and this is – I hate this. I hate this. Why are we kicking a field goal? What was that play call previously? How did we not score a touchdown there? Um, Trippy Edits. I, you know, I agree with what Trippy Edits actually says. He says, there should be no toss-ups for non-conference teams like that ever. Must champ, just lower our expectations. And I mean, you're probably right, Trippy. You're probably right. You're probably right. I mean, certainly, you know, when Spurrier was the heck, we would have never thought that way. I mean, you're right. But you got to you gotta walk before you can run, right? So, I mean, we're just, we're just at the point in the program, it's just the honest truth, you can't take any team for granted. You can't take any opponent for granted. You just can't. You can't do it right now, unfortunately. Now, I think we'll get back to that point with Shane Beamer where we're, we're, we see a team like ECU and we're like automatic dub. Right? But right now, it's not that way. It's, it's, we should win, but you better show up and play ball. Right? So, I mean, I, I have, I'll tell you this, guys. I hope I'm wrong and we blow them out because I have mentally prepared myself all preseason for a, a, a one-score game in that ball game. I, I really have. I, I hope I'm wrong. I'd love to see us whoop that ass. I really would. Ah. But we'll see. We'll see. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Minnesota got a pick, he says. Uh, Josh Wings, I just believe the must win for me is Tennessee or Kentucky. I mean, if you would, listen, if you want to argue Kentucky, I, I have no argument with you. That's, that's a huge game. But see, again, Kentucky is must win because why? You know, that, that's what I'd ask. For me, ECU is must win because you must win it to get to six wins, which is a bowl game. Why is Kentucky must win? Because if you lose the ECU but beat Kentucky, what have you done? You, you know what I'm saying? Like I, that's the question I had. That's my only challenge, though. That that point. That's my only challenge to it. My my point I've made all preseason is you can lose to Kentucky, you can lose to Tennessee, you can lose to Auburn, you can lose to to Mizzou, you can lose any of those games. You can't lose them all, obviously, but you can lose any of them, but you can still get to a bowl game. But if you lose the ECU, your chances of getting to a bowl game are damn near zero. I mean, you, you have to beat them. Um, so, Ricky Land, uh, appreciate you, my guy. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I mean, dude, the, the, the outpour of love and support has been incredible. Um, I, appreci- I just appreciate you guys tuning in, showing love, man, and you guys appreciating the content and rocking with us, like I said, all preseason long and – uh, I, I, you know, I think you guys. I hope you will at least. You're gonna feel. I believe you'll feel the passion in tomorrow's show. If you tune in the podcast, you will feel tomorrow's the, the passion in tomorrow's show. You really will. Um, you know, I, I, I tried not to be too dramatic in regards to like the score that you know what's gonna happen on field, but what you're gonna notice in the show tomorrow. And I bring up this point, you know, Saturday is a lot bigger than just one game. Saturday is the the almost like the rebirth of Carolina football. You know what I mean? Like in a way, it is. It, it's it's the truly the rebirth of Gamecocks football. So Saturday is going to be a really really special day, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know we all. Are. There we go. D. How about the D line? How about the D line? Um, really looking forward to it though. Saturday is going to be a really special day. So, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate the love, and I appreciate the support, man. Wow, David Barnes, 14-6 to Tennessee till half. That, that is not – wow, really? I mean, dude, I took Bowling Green plus 35 and a half. So, I mean, and not – so, I – if you guys are just curious, I give my SEC gambling picks. I don't actually bet on games. Now, I am doing the prize picks – plays, which I've seen some of you join. Thank you. Um, the prize picks plays I am doing. 
which would love to see you guys join that, prizepicks.com or the Prize Picks app. Use promo code TSUS, get 100% deposit match on your first deposit or when you basically just when you sign up. Um, and it's prop plays, it's prop entries for college. You can do any anything, but it, it's cool because they have college players. Really, really cool stuff. Prize picks. Yeah, you can win money very easily, actually. It's, it's like it's not hard to win that. I, I I don't know if they know that, but I feel like it's not that hard to win. It's not that hard. I mean, hell, you only got to get two of three right, and you win like you, you bet $25, you win 50 bucks. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, Minnesota took the lead. God, I mean, I, I love the sim going on, guys, but I cannot wait till we uh, – Get off here and watch some football. I right, definitely. But you know what? Like I said, we're committed to the simulation. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I seriously, with all the great football tonight, I'm glad y'all are tuned in. I appreciate it, man. Seriously. Hit him downfield. You got plenty of time. Get upfield. There you go. There we go. Dustin says, Do you think Beamer will go with one home jersey, one road? Uh, I think we'll no, I think Big Game Garnet will be a jersey. I, you know, the question is this. Do we wear a helmet that is not the white helmet? That's the real question. Because that would tell you, that will tell you how many uni combos we wear, right? So do, do we wear a different colored helmet? And how many times do we wear a different colored helmet? Because, I mean, I feel like Beamer's a very much more traditional guy. I, I don't think he wants to... He obviously has said he doesn't want to do a different combo. Look at the pitch. What a pitch. What a freaking pitch. Wow, what a pitch. Luke RJ, my guy. It's unlikely and it's possible. Both can be true. Hey, Luke, both can be true. I'm, that's all I'm saying. No. No! What the hell, dude? What the hell? We're just we're keeping them in the game with the bad passing game. There he goes. Makes it to the 27. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick pee break. Did not do so at back streets. We're going to do it real quick right now, then we will resume. Quick timeout from the Gamecock. Quick T.O. Quick T.O. from the Gamecock. My apologies there, folks. My apologies, folks. All right, cool. We're good.
We are good. My apologies there. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. All right, here we go. I've heard the Minnesota helmets tonight are fire. Uh, will South kind of wear the Garnet helmet? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they will or not. <laughs> Ters five. Why does Satterfield Doty roll into his left, Noda across his body? I, I don't know. I don't know why he has that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Dustin says, I think EJ Jing is going to ball out Saturday with undersized Eastern Illinois. Yeah, I mean, you'd think so. To take out the quarterback first, boys. Take out the QB first. Um, Is Brendan M in here or not? Hold on. Let, let me just do that. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Come on, D. Got to stop him on third. Where is the cover? What are we... That zone, that soft zone, man. That soft, soft zone. That super soft zone. We've just kept them in the game with turnovers, bro. We've kept them in the freaking game with the picks. We've kept them in the game with picks. Boot at a babe. Yes, Dustin, for those who have been asking me, Gamecock walk. Ready? Gamecock walk is at 4.45 p.m. A's corner from 3 to 4. Pre-game show. We will be out at Seawells before that. We're going to get out there like 11 or 12. We're going to be... I'll be out there at probably 12 at the earliest. I'll say 12, 12, 12, 30. So 12. We'll say 12. I'll be out there by 12. Jay's Corner pregame show, 3 to 4. Gamecock walk, 445. Great throw. That's why you play at Marshall. Um, anyways, pregame show at Jay's, 3 to 4. Walk over to Gamecock walk, 445. Boom, there you go. There's your plan. Now, can I pose a question to you all in here? Here's my question. And I guess I'm going to make a decision no matter what the answer is. But here's my conundrum. We have a tailgate at Seawell. Does TSUS stay at the tailgate from 4 to 6 and then go in the stadium? Or does TSUS go to Gamecock Walk? And I don't mean to refer, I don't mean to, refer to myself in third person, but you guys understand the question I'm asking. Do we go to Gamecock Walk or do we not? Because there's a part of me that wants to go to it, there's a part of me that wants to enjoy the tailgate. You guys tell me. I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll make that decision. Um, it would be very cool to be at Beamer's first Gamecock walk. I will say that. A T Josh, I do have a TSUS scout that will go. I, you actually, you joke, but no, I, I got a guy that, that'll do it. Let me just put it to you this way, Josh. If you think I'm in the stadium for all those stadium videos that I post, I'm not in there. Trust me. I have a scout. <laughs> I, I know a guy. Luke RJ, if I had the first pick in my fantasy football league, uh, McCaffrey, definitely. I'm taking McCaffrey. The year I won the league, I took McCaffrey. Look at EJ. Look at EJ! A little third down conversion. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not like the walk, you know, going to the Gamecock walk is like an hour away from the tailgate. It's it's kind of just right down the road. Go. Atta, baby. Yes. It's going to be really cool, man. That's why, I've, you know, people have asked me, hey, if you could go to any game this season, which would you go to? And I'm like, I, you know, I know it sounds crazy. I know it's EIU, but I, I'd honestly go to the game Saturday. I, I just, they, they, it's, you know. We'll play Kentucky again. We'll play so-and-so again, but I, I just, 
there's only going to be one opener for Beamer. You know what I mean? And we're gonna we're gonna win. We're gonna kick ass. You know. Go get the first. Gosh, dang it! Go for it. Marshall just took their first time out. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Damn it. I wanted to see us go for it. Wilson. Our defense really hadn't gotten a chance to freaking stop him, though. All these stupid turnovers. Jeremy Gaunts, what's up, my guy? Oh, I thought he pinned him. I thought he pinned him. Jonathan Boatwright, I know you're a Bills fan, my guy. Josh, Josh Allen's the truth. Josh Allen's legit. I like Josh Allen. I like Josh Allen a lot. I'll ask you guys this. What time are you guys planning on being out at the tailgates and all that good stuff? By the way, if you are going to be in the city tomorrow night and you are coming to Hall's Chop House, please let me know. We have reserved seating available. I would love to save seats for you guys. Please let me know. Please. Why is this game so close right now? Like, why? I mean, it's this. It feels like we should be killing this team. Under heavy pressure, they bring them down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that. So, Jonathan, you're gonna go in. The From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. <sighs> Come on. Let's go, D. He's Get there. Get there. Jordan Birch with the season of the freaking century. Jordan Birch about to hit 20 sacks on the season in this game. The man is a monster. No, he was there tonight. He, I didn't know that. I didn't. Wow, I did not know that. I honestly did not know that. Hey, let's go, defense. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, guys, random, super, super random side note, and I'll tell you guys because I know you you guys that are tuned into this, you actually care. Um, so yours truly, Friday, September the 17th, so the day before the Georgia game, Yours truly is getting to do play-by-play -play for the Strom Thurmond Batesburg Leesville high school football game at Strom Thurmond. I'll be on the I'll be on the Batesburg Leesville call on the radio, getting to do play-by-play. -play. How about that, right? My good buddy is. I'll hit him deep. Shh. Birch Antley's a good buddy of mine, the guy that calls kind of baseball games. He hit me up. He's like, yeah, I do that. I can't do it that game. Do you want to fill in? I'm like, yeah, yeah, why not? So doing a little play-by-play -play for Batesburg-Leesville, Strom Thurman. If we got any Batesburg-Leesville fans in here, I'll be calling the Batesburg-Leesville whatever the mascot is. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even know what the hell Batesburg-Leesville's mascot is. I don't even know what Batesburg-Leesville mascot is. I, I, if we got any Batesburg Leesville alum in here, I'd love to know. I have no idea. I know Strom Thurman because North Augusta played Strom. Oh, he's in. Let's go! Dodie Bat Badge, he looks. Mario Brown in the out route. He throws deep. Brown gets a foot in. First down, South Carolina. Dude, I've, I've always loved the play-by-play -play stuff. I, I love it. I actually did, believe it or not, guys, when I was in college, I went to USC Aiken for a year. I did play-by-play -play for baseball in 2000, what was it, 15, spring of 15, I did play-by-play -play for baseball. I'm not going to be a mascot. I'm going to call the game play-by-play -play for Batesburg Lee's. The Panthers. Oh, wow. Jaden Harris, over under 250 rushing yards Saturday. I'm going to say over. I, I just, dude, 
We should run wild on EIU. We really should, man. 250 is the minimum in my mind. Dude, what is Luke Doty doing? What is Luke Doty doing? Josh, we need to hear an example of your play-by-play -play voice, please. He scrambles. Take off. There he goes. Why did he not cut it in? Cut it inside. You had it. God, you had If he goes inside instead of outside, he had it. Josh, you, you just go cut inside instead of out. You had it. I'll give you a little example of the play-by-play -play in just a second. Start his second half. Plums. Yeah, plums. It just depends, man, the night. Sometimes YouTube, sometimes Facebook, sometimes Twitch. It just really depends, man. Bro, I'm like, are you kidding me? Are we really about to let him just take it for a touchdown to end the half? We played a half. South Carolina in front, 13-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation. That excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little <laughs> too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little uh, bit let's about see. That. If you're not, the then floor is yours. Easy on OVR, hope my, ab my Abbeville Panthers so can play Batesburg again soon. Legendary matchup. Jaden, what are your thoughts on the colored fields like Coastal and Boise? I mean, that, those are fine for them. I mean, are you asking me if I'd ever want to see South Carolina do it? Uh, no, I, I, I would never want to see that. Jay2469, ha ha, just don't slip up and say, holy shit, did you see that play? Well, if you notice, Jay, I don't, I really, for 98% of my content, do not curse. When I get behind a mic, I, a, a, a switch flips. I mean, I will be honest with you, Jay, I curse more in my normal life than I do in my content. I mean, I, I just, if that makes me a bad person, I guess. Look at the bottom line. You at UCF Troy 13 verse 12? Are you serious? Wow. Welcome back, everybody. Southern Cal's good again. Holy smokes. Luke RJ, Shane Storm T-shirt, T-S-U-S dot store, my guy. T-S-U-S dot store. How about us returning a kickoff for a touchdown, by the way? Alan Murray says, would anyone be disappointed if this is how the season went? Alan, I got to be honest. I'd take it. Even with the loss to Troy, I'd take it, bro. I, I'd take it in a heartbeat. South Carolina in a bowl game leading at halftime? Yeah, give me that season in Shane Beamer's first season immediately. I'd love to see our offense be a little bit better than it is. But outside of that, I'd take that season. I'd take this season in a heartbeat. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Dude, that's wild. 14 to 6 at halftime. That, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. That is absolutely insane, dude. Tennis is Tennessee just look like garbage or what? Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, please. First. What a play! What a freaking play! What a play! Let's go! What a play! We've got a first and ten. 
Josh says, I love this stuff, man. The talks, the laughs, the info gained, all amazing. Really does help me unwind and get pumped. I'm glad, Josh. Get up field. Get up field. Hey, that's a good play. Run the ball, run the ball, second and one, run the ball. Or not. Boop, got him, he's in. There you go. Nicholas Muse. Luke RJ, I'm not going to be a mascot, Luke RJ. I'm not going to be a mascot. I'm calling the game play by play. I was asking, what is the mascot of Batesburg Leesville? I'm not going to be a mascot, bro. You think I would agree to being a mascot for a team, Luke? Not even a chance. Not even a chance. Come on. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations. All right, here we go. He does a great job of the quarterback, as we saw right there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick pass intercepted. He might have a chance. No, no, no. Dude, what the furnt? What the furnt? <sighs> what just happened? What just happened, dude? What just happened? What just? I mean, I'm my buddy's literally texting me. Hey, Chris, I got a group coming. The halls. I'm trying to reserve his table, and damn it, if I don't look up, if I don't look up, and a pass is taken back for a touchdown. <sighs> look at look at Beamer with his jacket on, his little puffy jacket. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing. We, we should be smashing Marshall, dude. We're just keeping Marshall in the game. Ball on the 32. We're just keeping Marshall in it. We really are. We're just keeping Marshall in it. Take it. Pitch it. God, pitch. Pitch the ball. What? God, dude. Luke Doty with three picks. Y'all want to change QBs? We've been, we've been riding him all season. You want to change quarterbacks? Really? Put Zeb in. You realize Zeb, Zeb doesn't even exist on the video game. <laughs> Zeb's not even on the roster. Throw it. Something. What was... I mean, what was that, dude? Plums, we we plums. We've been riding Doty all season to a six win season. May I remind you, we can't take him out now. He really got a hold of that one. Makes it to maybe the forty yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams. That we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides, the 49 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball Come on, D. We got, yeah, we got to have a winning season. Seven and six. 
Yeah, where where is the where is the where is the GA throw on a helmet and play button? Where is that button? Tonight, he's at Village Idiot right now. Just got to Village. Bro, we cannot lose to Marshall. Like Marshall's trash. We cannot lose to Marshall. We cannot lose to Marshall. Alex Mitchum, counter calls was fantastic. Dude, I heard App State's kicking that ass. Get there. No. No! God! Mm. Ball. Yeah, Jaden Zeb is wearing number eight. Kelsey Jacobs just tuning in, man. How we tied? Dude, dude. Why are we making Marshall look so good right now? Twenty-seven to nine, App State. First down, ten to go. Fumble. No. Damn it. Is anybody looking for two tickets? Somebody just texted me, said they can't make it Saturday because of personal reasons. They have two tickets for sales. Anybody need two tickets? Let me know. Two tickets. Two tickets. DM me if you need two tickets. Or just DM me if you need tickets at all because I, I know people that are selling. So if you need tickets, DM me. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Yep, Chase Bryce, he's there. Got to have it, D. Got to have it. Got to have it. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Wide open. And it's fourth down, but... Are they going to go for it? No, they're going to kick. Block that kick. Shame. Beamer ball. Marshall is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. All right, we need a rally. Even though they gave up a field goal, a little rally, Elijah. I'm sure that was so loud. A little rally, Elijah. Just a little bit of rat. Just a one little quick little pour. A little rally, Elijah. Channel the old Elijah. Why is it, bro? Why is Luke Doty playing so bad? <laughs> All right, let me tell you, hey guys, one more pick, and I still won't take him out. Now, nah, I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I, dude, he's been our quarterback all year. He's making some decent. It's just he's making some decent throws, but when he makes a bad throw, it's like abysmal. It's like terrible. It's to the other team. Yeah, Bowling Green plus 35 and a half was like the easiest bet on planet Earth. Oh, Jesse Jacobs on his wife's account. Not sure if we had our little boy a few weeks ago during your show, LOL. Can't wait to have him in game day attire Saturday. Go, Kyle. That, Jesse, that's, an, that's incredible, my friend. A TCU's playbook. Yeah, David, I, no, I agree. Jason Brown, when he's come in, hasn't done worth a damn on the simulation, so... I think Luke Doty is the best option, my guy. Luke Doty is like you have to live with the bad times because he gives you the good times. It's like it's like one of those deals. Take the good with the bad. Quick strike and he drops it. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. Oh, this is great. This is great. Apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken. Wilson is back awaiting the punt. Great. Booming kick. Change of subject. How about Frank Beamer being at Carolina Calls tonight? What what a that that dude, that was incredible, man. I mean, Frank Beamer's a legend. Frank Beamer is an absolute legend. Donnie says there's a guy there's this guy named a carry on who used to play quarterback. Well, he's not a quarterback in the game, Donnie, so I'm sure as shit not putting him in. I'm sure as shit not putting him in. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's a damn receiver on the game. We need defense to make a big play. We've had a special teams touchdown. How about a defensive touchdown? From their own 21 yard line, second down. There you go. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, Frank was there. It was cool, man. It was really cool. Really, really cool. I posted a picture of him, uh, Plums, on social media. So. Get there. Somebody. Nope. a babe. Good job, D. Wilson is the putter. They'll bring him down at the 42. There's your guy, Dak. There's your guy, Dak. Donnie, there he is, returning a punt. For Marshall, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to him on several occasions. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. And on top of the Bro, we haven't scored a touchdown offensively. You realize that? And because of all their we haven't even scored a line, touchdown offensively. Is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, when your overall average five sacks. Play, that's the God, we've given up five sacks. Can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be Our O-line has been abysmal. But it's because Luke Doty takes off every other play in this in this game. It's insane. He makes it to the 40. Put your fours up, folks. Great three quarters. Put your fours up. Game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. They bring the quarterback down. They've really thrown the quarterback's <laughs> rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. down and very long here and the defensive line can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback here we go throw it oh my god oh my god defense was in the backfield in a hurry he's been sacked seven times bro how can our o-line not stop marshall's defensive line Who does Marshall have on the defensive line that's that good? The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Wilson back deep to return. Wilson fields at the 31. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Well, the defenses have certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two instead of playing at a higher level. Go down to the freshman level and give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Marshall holds a field goal lead. They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets rid of this one. Get there, somebody. Please, get there. No, he didn't get that. What? He got that? Dude, 
Dude, no chance. No chance he got that. From the 48 yard line, it's first down. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on Is it halftime yet in the Ohio State game or no? There you go. Loss of two on the run Just start to say, okay, good. So a lot of ball to watch after this is over. All right, cool. We need some must champ hackers magic. Seventeen <laughs> fourteen, Ohio State or seventeen ten Ohio State? I see two different scores in the chat. Screen. Nice job, D. Got a freaking score, bro. You have to score. Got to score. Got to score, bro. Got to score. Got to score, man. Got to score. How y'all like them black end zones? That actually looks kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. That black end zone looks kind of sick. In the video game, it does. Now, real life. I like our normal end zones. That black end zone in the bowl game looks kind of kind of dope. It does look kind of dope. I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. God, Here, his black end zones are fire. Pitch. Go. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25 yard line. So, guys, because you're all in here, and of course, we're really close, and I'm very open and transparent with you all. As you know, Shane Beamer follows us on Twitter, the Spurs Up show, of course. I, D I DM'd him just a second ago. I said, great to see you tonight, Coach. Appreciate the love as always. Means more than you know. I'm behind you 110%. Give him hell this weekend. Why the furnt did we just throw it on third and inches? And now we're punting it. Anyways, said that. I said again, great to see you tonight, Coach. Appreciate the love as always. Means more than you know. I'm behind you 110%. Give him hell this weekend. Shane Beamer just replied. He said, appreciate that. We're all in this together. So, my coach. That's my coach right there, man. Appreciate coach. Appreciate coach. Coach is the man, man. Coach is the man. Coach is the man. I, I can't say it enough. It's wild how much things can change. Wild how much things can change. I'm, I, I mean, I know we all feel it. I, I don't want to, you know. I'm not. I, I, I'm not the guy to make it about me. I'm, re I'm really not. Like even like when I met Carolina calls, even when I met Carolina calls, like I, I just, I like to stay out of the way. Like it's not about me. It's about Beamer. It's about Gamecock fans. It's about all of us. But selfishly, you know, Gamecock fans say they're happy for a new era. They're happy for, you know, and we all are. But. Oh, man, like I, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I went from being on the in the doghouse to the penthouse. You know what I mean? Like, went from being on the blacklist to the to the to the to the to the nice list. Then you know, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's incredible. I, I appreciate Coach a lot, man. It's, it's he's changed. It, Coach Shane Beamer has changed my life exponentially for the better, more than you know. Most would ever know, so it's uh, yeah, so great stuff, man. I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Loves it and he cares about it. All right, we have fantastic starting field position, fantastic starting field position. Go, go, Luke, take off. Sick Dog Nine says, "Did Muschamp personally dislike you?" Um, I, you know, 
I don't know, sit dog. There was anything personal. Um, you know, when when you when go go Kevin, go Kevin. When when you, you know, when you took this when you take the stance I took, which is fire the head coach. Uh, there's there's things that just come with it. You know, bottom line. I don't know that any of it was, or how much of it was personal. Um. But I do know that while Will Muschamp was the head coach, USC went out of their way to make me feel, I mean, very not welcome. I mean, I mean, again, man, I moved here August 2019 to pursue TSUS full time, and it was just the with Will Muschamp and him being the head coach, and uh, it was just ironic timing. I got here, and then three weeks later, I became the fire Muschamp guy, basically. Um, you know, th th there were there were moments, there were times where USC made it very apparent and clear that they would they wished I would rather not exist. Um, you know, they, I I got I gained knowledge of USC telling former players to not come on my show, discouraging them from coming on my show. USC directly telling them that. So I mean, you know, just stuff like that. It just. I'm so glad that's in the past. I'm I'm very glad that's that's not a thing anymore. What 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 is going on right now offensively? What is going on offensively? Can somebody explain me what the hell is going on offensively? We're literally about to tie it up with Marshall. That's fantastic. It's up and he's got it. Are we going to go to overtime again? Are we really going to go to overtime with Marshall? Is that really going to happen? Josh, I got Georgia beating Clemson. I got Georgia beating Clemson. I don't know score-wise, but Georgia beating Clemson is my prediction. Yep. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 27. Clipping on the return team. Dude, clipping is like the most popular penalty call in this game. On Howard. Oh, Malcolm. Damn you, Malcolm. When you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping, that penalty... But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic what Beamer's doing, and he, he's here. And it, you know, like I said, guys, I, I don't, you know... I don't mean to make it about me because it's not. I, I'm, I'm, one, I'm one guy. I'm one guy. There's a plethora, you know... Gamecock Nation is thousands among thousands among thousands of people. I'm just one guy. Um, so, but I can't acknowledge. I, I just appreciate Shane Beamer and what he's done for Carolina. Luke R.J. is getting a little feel in your feels with that liquor. No, nah, I mean, look, just being honest. I mean, just, just I mean, I, I would tell you that, period. I mean, we're just, it just was brought up. Um, no, nah, I mean, I just, I just, you know, Shane Beamer being hired was the best thing that ever had in my business, period, point blank. It was the best thing that ever happened in my business, so or just my life in general. So, um, yeah. So, get there, D. Screen, pick it off. Somebody get there, please, please get there. Thirteen. Basically, let him get the whole thing back. Got to stop him. Come on, let's win the game here. I don't want to go to freaking overtime, dude. This is insane. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> he had him. What is going on? At the 43 yard line. From their own 43 yard line. It's first down. 21 to 17 Minnesota or Ohio State? Oh my god, pick the ball, RJ. Pick the freaking ball, RJ. Pick the ball. Come on, dude. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. 
He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's at the 40. Oh, no. to his receiver. He's taken down at around the 38-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. <laughs> Jesse says, God, we're going to lose to Marsh. <laughs> Come on. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're fine. We're fine. Pick, pick, pick. How about a pick? How about a fumble something? He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. They're just letting that clock run down. Dude. They, they're just letting that mug, that mug run down. They are letting that mug run down. Look at they just, look at this letting it run down. They're letting it run down. I mean, really? What are we doing? Are we just banking on that they can't they can't make a 51 yarder? Pick it. Pick it. Rifles it left. The defense is making great. Damn it! Pick the ball! God David Spalding! Pick the freaking ball! They're going, they're going! They're going! They're going! Please get a stop. Please get a stop. Please get a stop. It's last play, last play, last play. No! No! Wait, what happened? Oh, delay game. Fuck. What is going on? And he hits the PAT. Now, I mean, just wow. I mean, just wow. Just freaking wow. Just wow, dude. And for Brian, he earns player of the game recognition for helping his team to a victory. Wow. They pick up their 10th win of the season with an impressive win today. And for the Gamecocks, they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss.
Oh. <sighs> I am dead inside. I am dead inside. I'd take a piss real quick. Sorry. I am I am dead inside. Wow. How 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 did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> oh. Donnie says I think God exists. I just think he's a Clemson fan for some twisted reason. <laughs> Josh, ever, hope every one of, of them stumps their damn pinky toe later. <laughs> uh, Reese B says, my wife, who's a Marshall grad, is singing their fight song with the touchdown and saying 2-0 and versus the Cox. Wow. This team did lose to Troy, Luke. You are correct. Wow. Wow. Well, 215 total yards of offense, folks. You probably don't deserve to win. You probably, Reese B says, I made a divorce. Oh, shut up, Reese. You ain't going to do that. You're not going to do that, Reese. You know what the difference is? We got to the red zone three times, three field goals. Can't happen. Can't happen. Yeah, thank good. Hey, thank God the real football starts Saturday. Oh my God, dude! Really? That that that? I mean, but like, I mean, come on! Like the last sim, the last sim. It's really gonna end like that, dude? Come on, bro! I mean, really? A hail mary. Marshall is trying to run out the clock. It's pretty bad when your offensive player of the game has 23 receiving yards. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I've heard, yeah, some, I keep seeing people saying App State's killing ECU, so that's a good thing. Oh, dude. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> That really sucks. That really sucks. Um, let's see. Can I advance? Because I'm just I'm just trying to get our final stats. Yeah, advance into bowl season. Bro, plums. Dodie's Dodie's final season stats were like hot garbage. By the way. Dakota says we beat Florida and then beat Auburn in three overtimes, but lose to Troy and Marshall. That is a South Carolina football season for you. That that's, you know, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty damn accurate, honestly. God, I mean, the last I, I'm I'm literally thinking, all right, clocks run out, we're Gucci. The dude catches it for a touchdown. <laughs> what the, what the hell, bro? What the hell? So we finished six and seven overall. Six and seven. Sit dog nine. What's worse than playing Marshall? Da da da. Losing to them. <coughs> My bad, guys. Whew. Bless me. God. Terrible. Twenty-eight to six, Tennessee. Jordan Birch set a record with 19 sacks on the season. <laughs> and, of course, Bama won the title. Last freaking play of the game. Here we Here we Hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, where is like our season stats? Uh, and, uh what's the stats? Season stats? I don't know. Is there one for team stats? Maybe. No. Oh shit. Hmm.
Anyways, folks, that's it, man. That's it. That's it. The final simulation of the 2021 preseason is in the books, folks. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. It's been incredible. Uh, I hate the way it ended, obviously. Oh, let's actually, maybe I can, let's see. Oh, I can, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Player step, no, nope, actually, no, nope, never mind. Um, let's see. Is there, there's got to be a no, close but no cigar. Damn it, is there not a freaking... I guess not. Oh, well, anyways, guys. Uh, Amarian Brown led us in receiving, but we, we dude, we were terrible offensively. We were so bad. All, here, you want to look at the the stats, season stats for the season? Uh, Luke Doty finished with three touchdowns and 12 interceptions. Three touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Kevin Harris was just short of a thousand yards rushing. How about that? How about Luke Doty leading the team in rushing touchdowns? Amarian Brown, your leading receiver. EJ Jenkins right behind him. And then, I mean, dude, we only threw. I mean, there's just no way we finish this season with. Three passing touchdowns. No, no way. We'll throw three in week one. So, whatever. Oh, well. Whatever. It is what it is. All good. Folks, again, that'll do it. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Fantastic time. Uh, I mean it when I say it, man. The simulations were incredible. A ton of fun, sincerely. Um, the last piece, truly, I would say, of preseason content. Um, just so excited to get to get going in this 2021 football season and and everything we got going on with with Shane Beamer and the Shane Beamer era beginning. And and I, I appreciate again, I appreciate y'all. You know, really rock. You know, we're sitting here less than 48 hours away from kickoff. I I, I appreciate y'all rocking and rolling with the preseason content. Continue to support and. Tune into stuff like this and show love and and uh, really cool. So again, guys, you have a great night. Podcast will drop in the morning. My official prediction will be locked in. We'll be out tomorrow. So y'all tune into that. Travis Hill says, "Quick shout out, man, Chris. The long interview doesn't amazing doesn't do justice." Travis, I appreciate that. Y'all definitely check out the long interview. The clips are on YouTube as well if you want to do that. But guys, hey, appreciate y'all. Have a night. Go watch football. I'm gonna get the results out on social media. Um, podcast tomorrow, Daily Crow tomorrow, live show at Halls tomorrow, Sewell Saturday, Jay's Corner Saturday, three to four guys, go Cox, we are so freaking close to kickoff.